Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create cameras in Rhino. So this is our file. First, I want to maybe turn off the roof layer. Uh, and there are different ways to put a camera here. The easiest way is to go to the properties of the view. So when nothing is selected, this is showing the properties of the view. Now, I would like to place one camera over there. So I can click on place on their camera under properties and I just want to put the camera over there. Now you see it's just looking up that means we need to change the Z location so I want to change this one Z location to like about 1500 that's kind of the eye level of a, like a person uh, and on the target for the Z of the target I'm going to also put this on 1500 it's a millimeter it's kind of like someone is looking forward right now I want to change the lens length I want to see a bit more stuff here so I want to change this to like 35 okay and remember that the roof is turned off so I want to turn it on uh, okay you can keep playing with this uh, value so I can like go with 34 I try not to make it too wide or too exaggerated but uh, 33 or something this should be good enough uh, feel free to change the Z location for the camera or the target a little bit. If someone, for instance, is sitting on like a sofa or something here, you can change the Z location to like 1200. So it's kind of like someone is sitting here, right? Or you can put it at 1300. So it's not too exaggerated. Okay. Or if you kind of want it to be on a horizontal plane, you can change this back to 1500. I would like to actually maybe put this on 1400 and put this on 1400 too. So you see that we are still under the perspective view. It's not saved yet, the view. Uh, before going any further, how about I remind you about the two shortcuts that we have, which are home and end. In Rhino, it's very interesting that uh, besides undo, redo, which is control Z, control Y, you can also undo, redo the view. So, so I'm clicking the key home of the keyboard. You see it's going backwards between the zooms. So if you change your mind somewhere around like zooming, you can go backwards using home or forward using the end button. So the end key and the home key of the keyboard uh, undo redo the zoom. This could be very helpful when setting the cameras. So let's say we like this view, it's good. We can go to set view, named views, and I want to make a named view, right? So here's the thing. I want to name this as like the living room. I know it's an interior camera, okay. Uh, the good thing is that if I like um, change or something, move around and then click here on the named view, it's going to bring the whole view back. So that's how the cameras work, right? You can put it over there or you can grab uh, the named view. You can also put it at the bottom of the uh, page around here. If you put it here, you might kind of just move up and down on this other window. If I change this to like perspective, set view, perspective, now you see that it's actually a different view here. But when I double click on the living room, it's going to take me there. Okay. Now let me show you more interesting things here. When you are on, like you click once on the active camera, when you press F6, okay, it's going to show the camera in other views too. So F6 right so click on the living room on the top here and just press f6 or you can go here go to set camera and you see that show camera is here and the shortcut is f6 right so i want to click here once then i want to type f6 and you see the camera is over there we can see it uh, now if you want to move this uh, kind of around uh, this is our camera i would suggest that keep the project on so it's going to move horizontally so it's not going to change uh, the eye level right now it's on project i can type m to move this a little bit back so it's exactly on the corner of this room somewhere around here so i can use the most uh, kind of view that i can you can do the same for the target target camera point and actually i want to draw a window because there is two of them 
uh, and I want to make sure that the project is on I want to go with M now you can move this kind of to right and left and so on so this is like one of my views right you can later design the interior space I need to click one somewhere here so it's gonna stop moving okay now this is like one of my interior views actually uh, I just wanna show you this if I double click here it didn't save my changes you notice what happened uh, so when you adjust the camera right so I'm gonna do this again move this to the corner get these points move this a little bit to this side your new changes is not going to show in that view right so you need to click here save this as living room again if you want to override it and it's going to replace it with the one that you have there okay so if you make any changes uh, in the view if you zoom in or something if you use any of these elements here or if you change the location of the camera or the target you need to save it again uh, because it doesn't automatically apply those changes to the named views okay now this seems good uh, when I double click here this is what I want to see uh, I want to kind of move somewhere else do not worry about losing your camera uh, because you have the saved views right I want to put another camera I want to put it on the outside this time so how about I go to uh, properties I want to move this a bit lower and I want to place a camera in this corner so I want to go with place from this corner okay there we go now I just need to change the Z locations of the camera and the target a little bit how about I go with like 1500 here I actually need to press enter and 1500 for the Z target here and I want to maybe change this lens length actually that's good okay I want to make this a new view so I'm gonna name this as my yard I'm looking at the building from the yard okay uh, now the yard is selected I want to type f6 so it's gonna take me to the settings of the yard right now I can select this and make sure project is on M I want to move it a little bit kind of further over there maybe uh, also how about I select this type M I want to move this a little bit out I want to save as right so I want to save as yard okay so it's going to replace that one and uh, I want to just check if what if I go with 32 uh, that was better so I'll stick to 33 this is good it's my two views living room yard and you notice when the f6 is on based on which of these are your active view it's yard or living room it's gonna show a different camera uh, on the other views